Mabuhay! Ito nga pala si Teacher Jan. At ito ang I Teach. Kung bagoan kayo sa channel na to, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the bell button para updated kayo. Sabay-sabay tayong matuto. Tara, simulan na natin ang lesson ngayong araw na to. Assemble Computer Hardware Computer System Servicing ICT CSS 10 Tara, alamin natin ang lesson na ito. Lesson 1.1 Plan Unit Assembly What are our expectations? 1. Identify the different types of computer. Classify the different types of computers according to various ways. List the different types of computers. Identify the different factors to consider in planning and designing a personal computer. Plan and design a personal computer. And give importance with the essential components when designing a PC. Computers are often made from different parts. Listed below are the basic parts of computer. Match these parts with the correct image. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided or in your separate activity sheet. Your answer will be checked by your teacher at the end of the lesson. Good luck! Brief introduction. We already have an idea of what a computer is. It is also important for us to study the different types of computer to better understand the concept. Computers have developed so fast because of their usefulness. They now appear in various sizes, shapes, functions, and power and are used for a variety of purposes and needs. Planning is the process of thinking about the activities required to achieve a desired goal. Like any other worthwhile endeavor, designing and building a new PC begins with planning. Proper planning prevents rushed trips to the computer store in the middle of the assembly process. Our topic for today, Types of Computers Objectives 1. Identify the different types of computers 2. Classify the different types of computers according to size and power and 3. List the different types of computer to my channel and also press this bell icon the types of computers based on principles of operation tara alamin natin kung ano ang mga ito types of computers based on principles of operation there are three different types of computers according to the structure, speed, and architecture. Those three types of computers are analog computers, digital computers, and hybrid computers. Analog computer is computing device that works on continuous range of values. The results given by the analog computers will only be approximate 
since they deal with quantities that vary continuously. It generally deals with physical variables such as pressure, temperature, speed, and voltages. Examples are 1. Thermometer. It measures the length of mercury column continuously. And second, traditional clock. The needle of clock covers the distance. Digital computer. Digital computer operates on digital data such as numbers. It uses binary number system in which there are only two digits, 0 and 1. Each one is called a bit. It can perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and also logical operations. Digital computer can give more accurate and faster results, and most of the computers available today are digital computers. Examples are accounting machines and calculators. Hybrid computer combines the desirable features of analog and digital computers. It is mostly used for automatic operations of complicated physical process and machines. It has the speed of analog and the accuracy of digital computer. Examples In the hospital's ICU or intensive care unit, analog quality controls the temperature of the room, digital quality informs the doctor about the patient's temperature, blood pressure, and other vital signs. And another, devices used in petrol pump. This is hybrid computer. to my channel and also press this bell icon types of computers based on configuration size and capability tara alamin natin kung ano ang mga types of computers na ito types of computers based on configuration Computers are classified in various ways. First, they differ according to size and power. Computers can be supercomputers, mainframes, mini computers, and microcomputers. Supercomputer is the largest and most powerful computers. It is also the most expensive because it is custom made for the needs of governments and international groups and companies. Supercomputers are used for very special purpose and engineering applications, including analyzing data from space probes, researching nuclear energy, creating weather maps and weather forecasting, and finding oil. Examples of supercomputers Grape or gravity pipe used for gravitational computations. Second, Anton used for studying molecular dynamics. And third, Cray XT5 used for various applications that need great ability to process information. One of the world's most powerful supercomputers. Mainframe computer is a large computer that can process data at a very high rate of speed. It is mainly used by big businesses and companies to process and compute large, bulk amounts of data and handle millions of transactions. Examples are bank transactions, census and consumer statistics, airline ticketing, 
and large management and payroll needs. Mini computer is another type of multi-use machine that is smaller, less expensive, and less powerful than mainframe. This is used in mid-range businesses and companies for their processing needs. Mini computers have been replaced by network servers, which can also do multi-user and related applications. Server provides services to another computer program and its user, also known as the client. It is powerful than normal computers. Server hardware also differs from desktop hardware in terms of its form factor. Microcomputer is probably the most popular kind of computers. The invention of microprocessor or single chip CPU gave birth to the much cheaper microcomputers. They are further classified into different types. What are the types of microcomputers? Tara, alamin natin. Desktop computers. Today, the desktop computers are the most popular computer systems. These desktop computers are also known as personal computers or simply PCs. They are usually easier to use, upgrade, and more affordable. Users can perform several complicated tasks in few times without getting any hindrance. PCs are normally intended for individual users for their word processing and other small application requirements. Laptop or Notebook Computers Laptop computers are portable computers. They are lightweight computers with a thin screen. They are also called as notebook or netbook computers because of their small size and design like a stylish briefcase. It is battery operated computers that are very popular with travelers. These microcomputers are more expensive than desktop computers because in which various small sizes of computers are inbuilt. Its best advantage is portability. Tablet computers. Tablet computers are handheld portable devices along with touch screen interface. And they are smaller in size than notebook devices but bigger to smartphone, in which users can perform both activities, input and output, on its LCD screen and can be run several applications such as word processing and others. Smartphones. Smartphone is a touchscreen mobile phone that is capable to perform various advanced functions similar to computer such as installs operating system or OS, download different applications, accessibility to internet, and more activities. PDA computers. PDA stands for Personal Digital Assistant. It is a handheld device with great portability as well as smaller in size, similar to tablet, palm top, and smartphone. PDA is able to make communication with other computers like laptops, desktops, and other through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, radio beams, infrared, radio waves, and LAN cable commonly used for maintaining the record to appointment calendars, to-do lists, take down notes, and address books. Game Consoles Game Console is a special kind of computer primarily used for playing video games. 
It is a device that outputs a video signal or visual image to display a video game that one or more people can play. It also allows non-gaming activities such as watching videos, viewing pictures, or browsing the internet. Modern TVs Modern televisions or internet TVs are now having their own applications and interactive features. These features allow users to stream music, movies online, or browse the internet and view photos. Wearable computers a wearable computer is any small technology device capable of storing and processing data that will be worn on the body. These are designed for accessibility and convenience, as well as improvements to workplaces by making information rapidly and readily available to the wearer. to my channel and also press this bell icon activity one directions give the classification of the following machines as to their size or power and operations the first one is given as an example your teacher will check your answer after you finish this activity 